We're back today at the Lowry Hotel in Manchester. We're doing the marble floor and reception. I think back in episode two, when we were doing some polishing of the tables upstairs, I spoke to you about this floor that we maintain it on a regular basis, but obviously during shutdown, lockdown, um, we've not been in to do this. So today, um, and over the next couple of days, we're going to be deep cleaning this floor, repolishing it and uh, using some solvent-based impregnating seals to help protect it going forward. But hopefully we've got a load of guests back in the hotel and it's bustling as always. This floor's been installed since the hotel was opening back in 2001. Um, it's a limestone floor um, and it's done unbelievably well over the years. Um, it helps that it's been maintained correctly by us um, throughout that throughout all those years. The first thing that we're doing, uh, we've got over here, is Sam is gonna deep clean the floor. So deep clean the floor is a real simple process. It involves um, a specific quite soft red floor pad on the floor uh, to make sure that we don't create any further damage to the floor and a pH neutral cleaner. So the pH neutral cleaner quite simply just removes any surface contaminations and doesn't leave any residues behind. We also agitate the grout lines to make sure we get the grout lines as clean as possible before the polishing process starts. Once Sam's been through this process with the machine and the red floor pad and the neutral cleaner, he'll extract it from the surface in preparation for Paul to be following round straight after him, who's going to be using polishing compound, an 11,000 grit monkey pad um, and a weighted rotary machine. So the extraction process on the floor, um, we're using wet vacuums, so it's, uh, I think we've got a couple of different ones here, pneumatic ones. Um, so wet vacuums to extract the moisture from the floor, um, it just makes sure that the, 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 the tiles and stone is as dry as possible for the start of the polishing process. If we take a close look at the floor, um, one of the main reasons the, the floor is, has gone slightly dull and traffic is because of the amount of footfall that comes through the hotel, which creates really fine scratches, but also a number of contaminations that, um, that are incurred through, through daily cleaning the floor. There's always going to be residues on there from cleaning solutions. So it's important that we strip that back with our cleaning process, make sure it's contamination free before we start polishing the floor. During our polishing process, it's not, you know, because we're not doing a full grinding restoration, it's not going to get rid of any major surface damage. Not that there really is any on this floor, and, and it's not going to get rid of any major scratches. Um, what we're going to do is very mildly resurface the floor with a polishing compound, in a way very similar to a teacup on a car, and bring that lovely, um, lovely shine and finish back to the back to the stone ready for the hotel reopening. It's really important that we get the floor as clean as possible first of all to make sure there's no contamination on the floor whether it's grit, stains or soiling before that polishing process starts. Once Paul's finished the polishing process, Sam will then come back around and give the floor a fine detail and buff up before we use our impregnating seal. A little bit more detail about the polishing process that Paul's going through over this side. So we're using a unique 11,000 grit diamond impregnated pad which goes underneath the machine. I'm using um, a polishing compound uh, which is like an ultra fine um, abrasive polishing compound. I can show you the powder but not the tub because like I say it's top secret. Um, so here's the, uh, here's the powder. I can't turn it around because I can't show you the label. Um, so it's a, a completely safe ultra fine polishing compound. Um, that we use in conjunction with our 11,000 grit diamond impregnated pad system, which does a number of things. It slightly resurfaces, resurfaces the stone, um, but when they're, work, when, they're working in, when they're working together, it gives an amazing finish on the stone. Like I said before, a little bit like a teacup for a car or an exfoliation type system for our skin. It resurfaces it, but leaves it really, really smooth and shiny afterwards. One of the things to talk about is um, the machines and the weight of the machines that we're using. Now, because we're not doing a full grinding restoration, we don't necessarily need any really heavy duty machines in here with a lot of weight. So Sam, Sam for instance, when he's doing his cleaning process over there, um, Sam's using around about 30 kilos. 
um, well, 35 kilos maybe. Um, Paul, however, um, on the polishing side, he's using about 45, 50 kilos to give us a little bit more weight when we're polishing that floor. Uh, just to give you an idea what we actually use for weights on the machine, um, we use these particular horseshoe type weights. Um, these are 15 kilos each, and we can put these um, on top of a number of the different machines that we use. Um, they're quite universal, uh, so we can add them onto different machines, and we can add two or three, mach two or three weights onto some of the machines. Just on the health and safety side of things, the hotel's closed, so there's actually not much we need to be put in place, just basic things. Wet floor signs on the floor, um, any entrances where people can just walk into the reception because it's going to be damp on the floor. Um, any of those entrances, we need them barrier off. Quite simple procedure, wet floor sign either side of the entrance, a little bit of barrier tape just to show that there's a hazard or a potential hazard into this area where there's going to be sections of the floor that are damp and, and wet. A couple of other challenges is, um, We've got our trusty stickers on the floor. Uh, during these lockdown COVID coronavirus era, we've got an abundance of stickers. These stickers um, are specifically designed for the hotel. Um, so they've got the hotel's logo on there. So it's really important that we do as much as we can to save the stickers and keep them on the floor. So we're gonna be going as close as possible to the stickers whilst trying to not remove the stickers because we want to keep them down. They've obviously cost the money at the hotel a lot of money to, to um, have them designed and made. So um, rather than ripping them up and polishing the floor, we're going to do our best to keep these in as stable as condition as possible. But maybe we'll come back to that at the end and see how we've, uh, how we've gone on. looks amazing you walk into the reception it, it looks it looks great it really brightens the place up um, a polished floor always looks good in a hotel reception you might remember from uh, the last time we were here we spoke about the stickers on the floor and we wanted to make sure that we polished up to them and did the around the edges by hand so it's important that we only got the machines up to a certain area we didn't cause any friction or damage to the stickers and then we touched up around the edges of each of these stickers by hand um, to ensure that we didn't cause any damage and have to replace the stickers. Another perfect job, eh?